Hi guys, welcome to Angora Hangova. It's Tunde again. Today, I prepared a very new series for you. Its name is Something Interesting. Here it is what it will be about. Many language students struggle with various accents and the same can be told about tourists who face local accents with a clueless green on their faces. Today, we will show you one interesting and very useful tool to help you improve your listening skills. Practice by tuning in to local radio stations all around the globe thanks to Radio Garden. Are you planning to go to the UK, US or Australia? Listen to the local stations of your destination and you will not only be able to understand the local accents, you will also be up to date with local news, events, which can prove to be extremely useful not only as a language student, but as a traveler too. Let's see how it works. Enter radio.garden into your browser and a globe will come up, like in Google Maps. From there, you can click on the stations. Each green dot is a city or a town with one or more local stations. You can see their names on the bottom right, with local time shown on the bottom left of the screen. First, let's go to the UK, to Britain, and let's see a station in London. And for the information, that's David Nita, a lawyer, a poet, member of the Society of Black Lawyers, talking about David Lammy's report. And David Lammy himself. I'm sure most of you are familiar with BBC. This, morning. this we'll is their station. Back to you, lovely listener, after the travel news. In New Southgate, the north circular between Bounds Green Road and Pegasus Way, Lane 1 is closed westbound. That's due to a burst water main. We've got queues to Angel Road and also past the junction of Meridian Way. In Redbridge, the north circular, one lane currently blocked northbound at the M11. That's due to a broken Let's down Let's go lorry. to the north, to Edinburgh. Cooking the nation's favourite sausage is something Steph does with panache. And tonight she'll push the boat out with her sweet potato mash. The whole family is coming over, might as well be the whole the street. The next station well, is still in the United Kingdom, in the it's Glasgow. I want to move on, take things to the next level with my other half. I want to plant bulbs in a garden and watch them bloom, sand floors, paint doors and find tables for unloved corners. Sort out the loft and call it bedroom number three and learn how Let's to Let's go to the west. Okay. Being. Theresa May announced the 30, that £32 million has now been released to assist the relief effort, up from £12 million after devastation was unleashed on British overseas territories. Uh, those are the papers talking about Hurricane Irma this morning. And here is Liverpool, a lovely accent. From six o'clock. We can't understand it because... We're, we're Liverpool or Everton Do you think fans, if it had been there? any club in England, any other club really, he wanted to leave? No, he wouldn't. No. no. It's because it's Barcelona. So it's like it'd be, it'd be like you moving back to Yorkshire? No. Or you're, 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 you're going to Falkirk? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Falkirk would be paying 120 million for that. <laughs> the it's a really, really Falkirk. specific <laughs> accent. Here we are in Dublin. Ireland. And you heard what Sinead had to say there. If you're if you're buying online, buying sterling, and we need to start complaining in shops uh, if there is a big differential between sterling and uh, euro prices. So don't be shy about complaining. Also, let us know your stories uh, if you've seen big big differentials between sterling and euro prices. Uh, drop us a text five three one zero six at a cost of thirty cent. Stay with us. News talk. This is in the south of Ireland. Mm-hmm. Well, she never slept at night. Mm-hmm. She said sleeping is a form of death. I hate sleep. <laughs> she never. She worked through the night. Composer stayed with her. She was terrified of the dark. She slept all day. <laughs> she slept all day. You actually sang with one of her composers. Let's see Northern Ireland, so Belfast. Where they were used to move troops for battles and to, to rally the troops and things like that. And they were to give signals and positions and commands not during a battle, but before a battle, because in the battle you'd never have heard the fifes and the drums. So to signal troops into position, the Swiss troops uh, gave this really to the European armies. And another station in Belfast. Um, my first physical symptoms um, started uh, in 2013 with basically... Um, 
strange feelings, etc., in my leg. And um, just the different different feelings throughout the body, but mostly in my in my lower part of my body. How important was early treatment for you? What difference did it make, either physically or indeed psychologically? Well, I felt I was given, um, I, I was, I feel very fortunate to have received um, a new treatment that was only licensed in Northern Ireland in 2015. It was a treatment called Lantrada. Um, it was very new, obviously. Um, Let's tune in to the US. East Coast, New Jersey. Here on WSOU. Programming on WSOU is supported by Inked Out New Jersey Tattoo and Music Festival this Friday through Sunday at the Meadowlands Expo Center in Sea Caucus, New Jersey. That's Inked Out New Jersey Tattoo and Music Festival this weekend at the Meadowlands Expo Center. Let's go to the south. We are in Florida, Miami. In downtown Miami, September 8th, 9th, and 10th, during the 6th Annual Art Days. You can experience exhibitions, walking tours, performances, events for the entire family, and more. Let's see the West Coast, Long Beach. We haven't seen a thing. California. If there's anything in the house that hurt you, Mr. Rogers, it's only this constant moving of things in the house. And in the nighttime, someone or something moving in the attic. We haven't seen anything either. I don't think we shall. And now let's move to Canada, to, admit, to Vancouver. To a so there you can always give us a call. Just make sure it's hands-free, though, at pound 730. Now, here's the latest from the CKNW Newsroom. Are we lucky? Yes. So the, the the great and talented Alan Morgan, who um, went on a journey, stepped out of theater for a little while, and, and um, I heard that, and I li- uh, and I literally right away. Now let's go to Louisiana. Helping you stay in the know. This is the PSN News Network and PSNNews.net. From around the country and around the world, we bring you the latest news from the Associated Press. The PSN News Network will keep you informed. Updates are also available throughout the day on www.psnnews.net. The PSN News Network. Now let's go to Nigeria. Lagos. Number 30 day of August 2017 for the eastern part of South Africa, where then they call KwaZulu Natal Province. Meanwhile, the ministry don't tell the government of South Africa say he must do proper investigate on top of this Kilikili way up to Ikiri, where don't they stay for one town, where then they call Via Eld for South Africa. The ministry can still talk say in person will be the undersecretary. From there to Cape Town to South Africa. A transmitter has been sorted, so it should be sounding great on medium wave. Um, but you can also get the app. Just go on to the Apple, iOS, or Google Play app stores and download the app, and you can listen to us anywhere, even if you go to New York. Um, I'm actually on a property which I own, and there are seven of us here. Here we are in another continent in Australia. East coast of Australia. Partners, injury lawyers, because an accident can take only seconds, whether it be at work or on the way home. It can affect... Uh, next up, we have a Your Song by uh, Rita Ora. You're listening to 2 Triple R. Another station in Australia. Significant, what I would view as overdevelopment, particularly in Marrickville and Dulwich Hill, and the real question is, where are those kids going to go to school? Where are they going to go to childcare? Yeah, that's um, where right. are they, we going to get services at hospitals and, and, and play sport? Where's the open space as well to accompany that, that growth? So absolutely, that's something that's um, always at the forefront of inner West residents' minds. Excellent. Now, before I let you go, you don't From have to. From there, let's move to New Zealand. I think it's really important Auckland. to talk about the charity. You're, ma- you're, you're raising money for what? For who? Oh, look, this is actually, uh, look, we've had a few of these evenings for the last few years. I've been the fight doctor for a few. Um, uh, it's really a community event. To raise, well, we're raising, this is raising funds for um, the sports um, centre that we're trying to... 
And now we are back to the west coast of Australia. Around about 18 minutes to go, so uh, let's try and get as many people as we can and we'll get things underway. All right, coming up uh, shortly, we'll be speaking with our very first listener. Buy safe and save at Purely Commercials with fixed rate finance from 4.9% to all ABN holders, plus our very own two-year warranty on all vehicles in stock. That's purelycommercials.com.au. Station sponsor. And again, we are back to the UK, Annie. Kingsbridge. <laughs> Annie, I mean, you're kidding me here. What's wrong with you? What? 56. 56. I can't even. It's, it's it's what's what's funny is you assume it's for, for the olds. You, producer boy Josh was saying it's for the olds. When you said the olds, how it's old? For the really olds, the oh, like Matt. eighty year olds. I've got one. I've got one more. Jen is in St Q. Say it, Jen. And another Southern station in the UK. But after I popped up again, I served another customer. Ramsgate. Uh, she's thirty eight today. No. she's. She's um no red and white mixed. Oh pink. Oh yes, she's a singer called Pink. Yes, I've heard of her, but I've never heard her play. What a strange name yeah. for somebody. No, pink. no, no. We play loads of pink. Pink, pink, pink. We play tons of pink. Do you? Yeah. Uh, yes. Anyway, here we go. Uh, what about this one? Uh, American. Uh, one of the uh, guys that we wish quite probably off now had uh, won the American election. Ah. Fifty-seven today. He is, and he's yeah. Bernie Sanders. He is Bernie. And he Sanders. should have won the nomi- yeah, Democratic yeah. nomination. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh dear. Now, guys, use this great tool to improve your listening skills. Go around the globe, choose your preferences regarding the accents, and try to imitate them. You can even save your favorite station, have fun, and enjoy learning. See you in the next episode. Bye.